Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our main spark timing table as well as our ignition modifier tables in our AEM Pro software. So when we're going to be doing our spark timing tuning, we're going to be using our main spark timing table to adjust the spark advanced, either retarded or advanced, depending on where we're at in the table. We're going to find when we get into a situation where we need to do a rescale. So we rescale the RPM points, we are, or we rescale the break points for the load. We're going to have to go in and completely change our ignition timing table. So that's going to be valid for that particular operation at the load range or the RPM range we're going to be running our engine at. I'm going to be showing you what to do in this video, how to go in and rescale your ignition timing map. If you go in and change your load breakpoints, that's going to be throwing everything off and we definitely have to go ahead and deal with this. Now the other part of the video here, we're going to take a look at our ignition modifier tables. These are going to be things such as our air temp compensation, our coolant temp compensation, and even after start compensation for our ignition timing that's going to be altering the spark timing. I'm going to be showing you what to look for and how to work with these modifiers so you know exactly what to do when you do your tuning process. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at our main spark timing table as well as our ignition modifier tables. Now, the first thing we're gonna take a look at here is our icons. These are gonna be related to our spark tuning or spark control. We can see we have our first icon as ignition, then ignition trims, then knock control, cylinder ignition trims, and then coiled well. Now, we set these pages up when we were beginning this training series. So if you're coming into this and you're looking at the different icons, I went into templates here, I went into configure, and then I went to add and it allowed me to go pick through all these different predefined templates from AEM and that dropped it into my window here and then it allowed me to go in and uh, rearrange these and assign a little icon. We can see if we double click on this real quick here, it's going to be opening up this and I assigned them custom icons. So um, we've went through that process already. So if you are confused about this, jump into that previous video as we we're setting up our page templates. It'll explain that. So jumping into our first page here, Ignition, we're going to be taking a look Everything in this page here, this is our main spark timing table. So we find our three-dimensional view, we find our parameter view here that's going to be giving us our data, and we also can see our ignition timing table. So we have the ignition timing table displayed twice here, one three-dimensionally, then one two-dimensionally. Now when we're making our changes, we're going to be working here in this two-dimensional table format. We're not going to be working in a three-dimensional. Let's just jump in here to the three-dimensional table and talk about some of the controls we find off here to the left. Now we can see we have an increase or decrease arrow here. If we increase, it's going to be making the table bigger. If we decrease, it's going to be taking this, making the table smaller within our window that we have here. We also can move our table left, right, up or down. It's going to be just allowing us to move this three-dimensional view again inside our window. We can rotate this either way, depending on which way we want to use the rotate buttons. We also can have different alternate coloring. So we can see here if I click on the yellow side of this uh, button, it's going to be putting a blue background. If we click around, it'll change the coloring. That's going to be something that you are able to play around with. We also can flip this 180 degrees. This is going to be just simply moving this 180 degree view. And then finally here, rotate. We're able to dynamically rotate the three-dimensional view within this window here. If I click rotate, I can simply just use my mouse here and just rotate this table around um, and get the view that I want. So we have all kinds of ways to uh, work with this.